Welcome to the Grow My Cleaning Company podcast with your host, Mike Campion. If you are passionate about the cleaning industry, you are in the right place. Love what you hear? Spread the word and tell the cleaning world this is the place to be. Want more? Check out www.growmycleaningcompany.com for free online video trainings, free ebook downloads, free blog posts, and of course, all the podcast episodes. Everything you need to grow your cleaning company is at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. And now, on with the show. Hello, Cleaning Nation. So glad to be with you once again. Welcome to the place that you will find everything you need to have the cleaning company you've always wanted, the cleaning company that you deserve. If you ever want to be a guest on the show, if you've got questions for me or need me to speak at your next event, all of those things go through our producer, Natalie. You can email her at nat, N-A-T, at growmycleaningcompany.com, or you can just give us a call, 480-648-5150. Four nine. One of our favorite things is hearing from you, Cleaning Nation. Today, we are chatting with Warren Jacobs, both the president of the CSSA, the Canada. Canadian Sanitation Supply Association and the owner of MCL, which I believe is Mr. Chemical Limited, Green Sustainable Solutions. So we've got a multifaceted talent here. This guy's been serving the sanitary product manufacturing and (laughs) and distribution companies, good Lord, that's a mouthful, of Canada since 1957. So he's probably forgotten more about this business than I know. If you want to reach out to Warren, you can get a hold of him at at CSSA.com. We'll have a link on the show. Warren, welcome to Cleaning Nation. Great to be here. Well, first and foremost, you, there's no way you can sneak in with, I've been doing this uh, since 1957. I own a successful company and I'm the president of the CSSA. How on God's green earth did you get all this stuff done? Well, it's extraordinarily flattering of you. And uh, I'd love to take credit for that amount of, for that duration of uh, time in the industry. But it's actually, our company started in 1973. I was born just shortly before that. I don't want to say exactly when, but no, I've been involved for about 20 years. Um, and the CSSA has been around for that long. So, oh. yeah. You know what? I get an introduction and I don't, I read it too fast. All right. So CSSA was founded in 1957. Warren was founded just a mere 20, a couple decades later, but you've been in the business for 20 years. Yes, that's right. All right, fantastic. So how did you get involved? Did you start on the uh, uh, janitorial supply side, or how did you get involved? Well, I grew up with uh, garbage bags and toilet paper in my living room because I'm uh, what they call an SOB, or the son of the boss. Um, We grew up in – my parents started a company in Toronto um, uh, distributing cleaning supplies to, I guess, primarily government And then uh, I thought I would kind of find a a different route, and I got my MBA. And after that, uh, it just uh, kind of fell into place, and I joined the company. We were a small company. We've grown ever since, and now we've kind of rebranded, as you mentioned, from Mr. Chemical Limited to MCL Sustainable Solutions, just because we've really gotten into a lot of different, uh, well, 8,000 products, et cetera. Wow, that is, first of all, congratulations. That's awesome. Second of all, tell me how you, uh, I'm assuming you didn't just walk in and they nominated you president over at the CSSA. How did you get involved and eventually ascend your way up to the ranks? Well, the CSSA covers all of Canada, which is uh, you know a massive country. And uh, I was involved with the Ontario chapter, so just uh, kind of headquartered in Toronto. And then after a couple of years of doing that, I uh, saw the opportunity to get involved with the national level, and uh, it's been great. So I've got to meet uh, groups from all across Canada, from British Columbia to Halifax, or uh, and we've gotten a, a, we have some great people. So it's been a lot of fun. So you're in a unique position in that. A, of course, in your kind of day job, you serve our industry. And I'm sure you, that's all you do is just like I do is talk to owners of cleaning companies day in, day out. But then you get an opportunity to see them from a different perspective in terms of head of this association that a lot of those same cleaning members or owners of cleaning company depend on to grow and learn and all that sort of stuff. So give us a little bit of, I'm, for once, I'm going to shut up and let, let the guests talk. Give us a little bit of the insight you've gained in terms of just talking to so many owners of cleaning companies from so many, from two different perspectives of kind of what you've learned in terms of the best value you can give to Cleaning Nation from all that experience. Well, yeah, it's been fantastic. I got to really get to know all the manufacturers. 
I get to know other distributors now and learn from them. And then I get to work with all kinds of end users, whether they be environmental service managers at hospitals or uh, cleaning companies, as you say, uh, schools, et cetera. So I get to kind of know everybody. And I've got to find out that people really, you know, there's, there, it's be, the industry is becoming sexier and it's becoming increasingly important that we value clean. So with the CSSA, we uh, promote the value of clean, which you've had other guests on talking about that, that program that originated by the ISSA. So we always talk about how important it is to educate your staff and your clients on improved performance. Let's reduce liabilities. Let's reduce slip and falls. Let's reduce uh, absenteeism and sickness, and let's improve the uh, the public image, improve the uh, environmental awareness, et cetera. So that's the kind of stuff that people seem to be interested in now. We've done over 150 episodes, and I'm marking it down in my diary. That is the first time I heard the word sexy and clean or cleaning company in the same, <laughs> in the same sentence. So well played, my friend. So that said, tell me about that, because I'm constantly on my little soapbox screaming my little head off about we cannot sell dollars for hours. If you give me 20 or 40 or however many dollars, I will put my hand in this toilet or pay someone else to push that vacuum for an hour. That's super low value work. We've got to solve problems and help create big solutions and changing people's lives through cleaning. And what you just said was kind of scratching where I itch in terms of, you know, we're not here to to take out the trash. We're here to reduce slip and falls. We're here to make employees healthier and happier and, and less absenteeism and all that good stuff. Tell me how we can, um, that information, that knowledge can actually translate into me as a small business owner growing my cleaning company. Well, um, we want to, we want to improve your efficiency. So we want to offer you, whether it be through the association or through a distributor, you want to make sure that you're improving your efficiency using mobile apps or using a robotic auto scrubber or uh, um, just uh, just being just some more efficient tools that you can get from the ISSA and then at the same time we want to really work with our uh, with the client the end user and let them know that uh, you know we're uh, maybe giving you something that's a little bit more expensive but it's reducing your waste improving your environmental footprint improving morale and improving productivity as I as I mentioned earlier. Right, I don't so know if I'm being specific enough. We're getting there. I'll, I'll keep I'll keep beating on you until <laughs> we get there. Um, so we also had the ISSA, which you've mentioned two or three times in passing, and I'll make sure I put a link to that episode in the show notes page. Tell me a little bit about the your relationship, because we've mentioned you mentioned them a couple of times. What's your relationship with the ISSA? Uh, obviously you're in Canada and ISSA I believe is international, but Tell the listeners a little bit about that so we kind of – and this is a global show. I think we're in 60-some nations. So uh, definitely tell the, the listeners, not just in the United States and Canada, but worldwide, how they might interact with either or both of those associations. Great. Well, ISSA is a spectacular organization with tremendous resources, and they've put out – I think they've become the real leaders in our industry in helping to, to educate everybody. Um, and we, uh, we at, in Canada, the CSSA, the Canadian uh, Association, we've got a lot of challenges that are unique to us. So we, as I said, geographical and weather sucks here and all that kind of stuff. So it's dirty here, even though people think we're so clean, we got to work that much harder to achieve our, our goals. So we've kind of partnered or we work a lot with the ISSA for some of their resources, their training information, et cetera. And uh, we bring those back to Canadians. Okay, so you're just so I'm clear, because you know I'm sure people are going to listen and go, "Wow, that Warren fellow, he's a charming son of a gun." I want to get involved. If I am in the United States or in any country other than Canada, it do can I still get involved or benefit from you guys? Do you have any like international events, or is this just for Canadians? So we're for both, and we welcome and encourage and invite, and you know anybody wants to. I am charming. Welcome to you. Call me anytime. Uh, and I'll tell you about how we can help you uh, work with Canadians because a lot of people, you know, we're, we're a wonderful market and uh, we'd love to uh, work more with uh, Americans or other, other manufacturers. So please come on in. Uh, we do have a trade show that is uh, outstanding. It's located, it happens every two years. And so it happens to be coming up this May. Uh, and we invite all manufacturers to participate and we and get to meet our people, uh, whether it be distributors or end users. 
Okay, and just so for everyone listening, this May would be May 2017. So is that yeah. an international show, or is it attended mostly by uh, Canadian suppliers, vendors, you know, people in the in the industry there? Uh, most of them are uh, North American based. Uh, the the consumers that attend the show typically are Canadian, or some of them come from uh, just south of the border. Uh, it's located in Toronto. But uh, it's a, a great show, and it's a, it has a ton of value. So we welcome you know people from all over. So tell me the one big thing. Big thing I'd love to have you say to kind of do my job for me. Let me be lazy. Um, when I'm coaching, I'm a big fan of hey, you know, Americans getting the ISSA, Canadians getting the CSSA. Um, I, there's a bunch of international ones. I, I love these trade organizations because first of all, generally the bottom of the barrel don't sign up. They don't have the money. They don't have the time. They just don't understand the value. So when you go there, you're not just talking with quote unquote other cleaning company owners that are, you know, all over the spectrum. It's generally your better folks, your, your people that are successful that have the, that long-term vision to understand that they're investing themselves in their company and taking a couple of days off uh, from, you know, being involved in your company is not a bad thing. But again, I, it, it's, it's different coming for me. Sometimes I feel like I'm screaming into the wind. So tell me why, uh, you know, an owner of a medium size, small, you know, even a, a guy or gal just getting started, but owner of a cleaning company would invest a, the money to be a member, right? You know, it's not cheap to be a member and then B invest even more money. Cause you know, travel, I got to be away from my business, maybe my family. Um, you know, I've got to pay to go there. T tell me why, uh, or tell the audience why this would be a good investment of their time and money to, to go to either IS to either first be a member of uh, an organization like the CSSA uh, in the country that they're in, or go to one of these events? Well, first of all, um, you don't have to be a member to attend, just to clarify that. Um, but it is free if you're a member. And the membership, uh, we have different levels of membership that start out as, you know, for very nominal amounts of money. Uh, here in Canada, it's uh, under 200 bucks to be a member if, if you're a consumer. Uh, and it's not much more if you're a uh, distributor or a manufacturer. So um, we welcome everybody in. And the, uh, to attend the show is uh, very low cost or no cost for friends of this show, for sure. So we'll we'll put together some kind of a promotion that makes it free for all, anyone listening. Um, and we can talk about that after. But um, but it's the value is tremendous. Um, you get uh, free. Uh, everything's going to be free. You're going to walk away with a, a $100 gift bag with all samples of new innovations. There's an innovation center that you get to learn about, the, like I mentioned, software and robotics and new dilution control methods, etc. cetera. Um, you get training, so you can actually get certified for free on WIMIS and some other uh, courses that we provide. Uh, and all your staff can come and get that free certification um, and then you get to make, meet so many great people. Of course, I'll even be there. Yeah. Thank you for that. Warren. I could not agree. That and thank you for that generous offer. We will absolutely put a link on the show notes page for everyone that wants to take advantage of, I mean, you got, that's amazing. If you can't <laughs> free is too cheap, honestly, um, we'll make sure that there's a link there, but I just love the idea of so many people look at it as, oh my gosh, I got to be, you know, I got to fly down there. You know, it's, usually these shows are a couple days long or, you know, the ISSA might be three or four. Uh, I've got to fly down there. It's just a huge kind of inconvenience. I look at it as, you know, when your customer's like, hey, where's, where's Mike? Where's, where's Warren? Like, hey, he's at the world, you know, meeting of top minds in this industry, learning, cutting. I mean, he's sharpening his, his skills. He's going away to find out the, the cutting edge. That's why we listen to this podcast, right? Um, we're, we're trying to find out the cutting edge, what's going on, what do I know, so you can bring that back to your community. And I just think it's a tremendous advantage, especially if your competitors aren't there to say, hey, yeah, absolutely, I go to the ISSA or the CSSA. Or I'm at these trade shows. I meet the other people. I know my suppliers. I know what's going on with technology. I am getting certified. I'm investing in myself. So I just, everything that you said in line down, out makes so much sense. It's just, I want to make sure we drive this home because so many people kind of go, eh, it's time, it's money, it's inconvenience. And, but the, the funny thing is, and I'd love to hear your feedback, Warren, I've never heard someone go to a trade show, uh, for, for, you know, any of these, these big trade organizations in our industry and come back and go, yeah, wasn't worth the time. They always come back energized and back in love with their business and with a lot of new ideas to implement. Has that been your experience, Warren, with the people with personally for yourself and with the people that you talk with? Well, it's, there's a lot of people talking, frankly, uh, about trade shows being 
uh, less, you know, being uh, a tougher sale or sell these days because of, as you mentioned, the travel costs, the fact that we now have, uh, you know, the internet uh, gives us training opportunities and access to information like, you know, better than ever before. But um, typically, I agree with you. So we've worked even harder to make this show that much more meaningful and special to anyone who does take the time to come. And we really, you know, crave that opportunity to to meet with people that that uh, appreciate the value of clean. Uh, and on top of that, we think we've made it a lot of fun. So this year, we've added a, a number of things to make this a, a, a good kind of a a good time for people and even less expensive. So we have cocktail events that are complimentary. We have uh, um, autograph signings in NHL. You know, we love our hockey up here. So we have uh, NHL people signing autographs and photo opportunities um, and um, a number of other things to just keep people occupied and have a good time. And of course, with the dollar, the way it's at here in Canada, it even favors uh, Americans that much more to come up here and make it a little mini vacation. Yeah, I was going to keep the fact that it's a ton of fun as like a secret bonus. But if now that the cat's out of the bag, uh, <laughs> I wish I could tell you because I've been to a ton of these, not just in this industry, but in any industry I've, I've been. I've always, always, always attended these trade shows. And it's funny. I find there's tremendous value eight to five, you know, during kind of quote unquote show hours. But aside from the fun, there's a lot of business is done. A lot of relationships that are very valuable are forged at seven o'clock over dinner out having fun. So they, they really are a blast. So thank you for kind of sharing. that. I'm hitting the, the, you know, hey, this is how you grow. This is how you get better. But you are a thousand percent correct that they are a ton of fun. And also one of one of the double edged swords with our business on the cleaning company side of it is the low, low barrier of entry, right? We found so many people that are like, oh my gosh, I didn't have any capital and I didn't know, but I knew how to clean, so I got in. And the bad side of that is when you go to bed, there's just a bunch of knuckleheads that don't know how to price properly. It's just, it's, it's a pain, right? You have to deal with all these, you know, I, I hate to say like part-timers or kind of jobbers that really aren't business people. Uh, and one of the ways that you can separate yourself and really elevate yourself out of that pack is, I promise you, those guys aren't at the ISSA or the CSSA. When you go to the CSSA, these are professionals. These are entrepreneurs. And that's a great opportunity to get that certification. And just to say, I've been there. I attend these events is very different than I have a mop bucket and I want your money. So I, I just, I can't, I don't want to get too too deep into that event, but uh, I, I can't agree more. And I'm a, you can call me old man campion, but I get so fed up with the whole, ah, we can do everything online. We'll just Skype. I like Warren. We've sp we've spoken for a little bit, but I promise he and I could talk on this, you know, on this call for seven hours, and it wouldn't do as much good for our relationship as if I got to meet him face to face and we spent twelve and a half minutes uh, eyeball to eyeball. So I, pardon me for all you well, uh, young guys out there going, ah, we can just do everything on Skype, and I don't need to fly anywhere. That's insane. You can you stay home, and me and Warren are going to do business because he met me, he knows me, he likes me, and he trusts me. You Skype whoever you want all day long. And uh, best of luck to you. So sorry that again, I got ranty. Uh, Warren, <laughs> before we before we kind of wind up, any other thoughts or, or big information that Cleaning Nation needs to know? Not just in uh, as it re regards to CSSA, but you've got a ton of experience of watching successful cleaning companies, unsuccessful cleaning companies. Uh, so two questions, really. I'll let, I'll let you answer both. First, anything else we need to know about the CSSA, and second, give us any feedback you've got in terms of uh, how how owners of cleaning companies can grow. Well, with the CSSA, please, uh, anybody has any questions at all, we welcome input, uh, feedback, and we'd love to, uh, you know, answer any, any, and provide, be the resource that, that you people need. And uh, I say that as the, you know, president of the CSSA and also as, as the owner of a, a distributing company where we, we want to be there to support. This is what we, you know, what gets us excited. Moving boxes isn't, isn't a whole lot of fun and not to, uh, not not as sexy as we'd like it to be. Um, in terms of helping to uh, grow uh, cleaning businesses, again, uh, we want to help to improve your, uh, uh, to give you the opportunity to generate more income and more profits. And I think that what, by uh, working with the CSSA and uh, establishing, you know, green certification programs and training and education, providing uh uh, little mini trade events that we do that, uh, regionally as well. You have the opportunity to get to know people and to learn about uh, how to distinguish yourself and how to be that much stronger out there and not just uh, give your products away. 
Yeah, gosh, I couldn't. Well said. Uh, and I, Clean Nation, I will have the links uh, to how you can get a hold of Warren and the CSSA because that's very generous. I, you know, get a lot of guests on there and there's not a lot of, hey, call me personally. I, I want to help. I want to email me or, you know, really contact. We're not just kind of lip service and give us your money and, and go away. We really want to serve you. So thank you for that generous offer. And of course, we'll put a link on there where they can uh, sign up for the, uh, the trade show at the kind of Cleaning Nation rate. Um, so yeah, well said. You know, I usually don't do this, but I would be remiss if I had someone on the show that's been in the business 20 years and had the experience that you had and not put you through the lightning round. So I'm going to give you three quick questions. You're going to give three amazing answers, just an opportunity for you to give back to Cleaning Nation kind of as a, as a human being with all this experience as opposed to as the president of the CSSA or owner of Mr. Chemical. Or, I'm sorry, MCL. Does that sound okay? Great. Perfect. Question one. What's the best piece of advice you've received? This could be personal, professional, both, just as a as a guy with the experience that you've got. Best piece of advice you've ever received? Savor each minute. Golly, that guy is smart. Th- Go ahead. No, nah, I've got three little ones under the age of five. So I'm trying to just uh trying to juggle a lot of stuff, but gotta really um, you know, appreciate uh every uh everything that's happening and and, and hopefully grow from it. Man, I, I couldn't agree more. Thanks for sharing that, Warren. I think especially in the show, we get tied up with how to grow and how to do this and how to do that. And I love that. I'm I'm just going to say it again. I like that. So I'll savor each minute. That's, gosh, grow your cleaning company or not. If you can savor each minute, that's <laughs> you're going to win. Question number two, what's the biggest mistake you've made in the cleaning business? I'm a huge, and I understand that you're at it from a, a supply side, not a, a, a you know, janitorial company side, but I just love learning from other people's mistakes as opposed to having to make them our own. So what's the biggest mistake that maybe cleaning nation can learn that you've made in the cleaning business? Lack of focus. Um, you know, in our case, that might mean just too much inventory or, you know, or trying to be everything to everyone rather than really paying attention to what you're good at and where you can provide real value, such as, uh, you know, providing uh, higher end products or services and uh, and and working to educate people and to, so that they can understand the value. Man, that's a great one. I'm constantly coaching against that shiny object syndrome we have in terms of I'm going to do this, I'm going to sell that, I'm going to go 18 different directions. Focus, focus, and focus. Last question. What's one idea that Cleaning Nation can put into practice today? So something immediately implementable that will improve either their lives or their business or both. I would say um, using technology a little more. So again, whether it be from your distributor and being able to get online and see where your spend is, uh, or whether it be using uh, you know more innovative uh, equipment, or whether it's uh, using a mobile app to help uh, help monitor your your progress. So I just think that uh, that can be a real distinguisher out there. I like that. That was like three mini answers in one big answer. Well played, Mr. Jacobs. Warren, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for sharing your passion, your desire to grow. I appreciate you. I know that cleaning appreciates you and your transparency and your just your real desire to help. Cleaning Nation, when you want to check out Warren's show notes page, uh, get all the links that we talked about and discover everything you need to grow your cleaning company, you will find it all at growmycleaningcompany.com. Leave your questions, your comments, your rude remarks. I will see you there. Congratulations. You are now 16% smarter. Still can't get enough cleaning goodness? Go to www.growmycleaningcompany.com for more of the good stuff. Ever want to be rich and famous? Owners of cleaning companies as well as industry experts can apply to be featured on the show by emailing our producer Natalie at support at growmycleaningcompany.com. Until then, don't miss out on all the latest cleaning industry loving at www.growmycleaningcompany.com. Check it out now.